So today we are going to be working on the revolution of the earth and its trip around the sun. So the first thing, I didn't color these, I just cut them out, but I, you all can color yours. So you of course can color your sun yellow and you want to make sure that when you do, then I have it on a black piece of paper, you can just put it on whatever paper that you happen to have. Um, and you can glue the sun in the center after you colored it yellow. Make sure that it's facing this way where the words the sun are correct because as you notice the months of the year are around it. Now remember we talked about the way that the earth orbits the sun and that one complete trip around the sun takes 365 and one fourth days. And that orbit is called a revolution and it also has a certain shape to it and it is called an ellipse which is a flattened oval and that is the way that the um, earth travels around the sun is in that flattened elliptical pattern. So the way we can show it on our paper is to actually make this flattened oval run this way. There you can kind of see around how I've done it in a flattened oval. And then up in the right hand corner you can write spring and in the bottom corner, summer. And in the left hand corner, fall. And then in the top left hand corner, winter. So this is all based on our northern hemisphere, which is where we live. We live in the northern hemisphere. So right now, we are experiencing winter. So I want you to find your earth that has winter in the northern hemisphere like we're having now and summer in the southern hemisphere and you can color your earth the um, earth land green and the water blue which I'll show you the final product that I have mine done like that um, this is of course the north and this is the south this is your axis the imaginary line that the earth is um, re re rotates around excuse me and then you can color this yellow and this yellow and the little arrow that shows the rotation. So remember always as the earth is revolving it is also rotating. Rotation causes day and night. It causes the earth to, um, for us on earth to seem like the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. But our revolution of our earth, the trip around the sun that takes 365 and one fourth days causes our seasons. And I'm going to show you why that is. So right now, here's our Earth, and it's tilted on its axis. Right now, in the northern hemisphere, which is where we are, we're in winter. And that, as you can see, the southern hemisphere is in summer. So here we are right here in January, February, which is where we are right now. And you can see that it is summer. And up here, the sun has to travel, all the light has to travel all the way across our Earth. So we are more in the shadows up this way. We don't get as direct of the sunlight and therefore we are in our winter season. Now as you watch the earth begin to move in its path, you notice that when we get right over here about to between April and May, notice the tilt of the earth on its axis never changes. When you see between April and May in this area over here, then you can see that we're kind of in the middle now where we're starting to enter our springtime. We're starting to receive more of the sun's light and they're gonna to start to receive a little bit less of the sun's light. We continued traveling on that same 23 and a half degree tilt. Now it is June time and we are starting to get more of the direct sunlight. It's gonna to continue to get more direct as we go down here in July and August. It is now summertime, and instead of it being winter, like it says up here in the northern hemisphere, it is now summer because we are now receiving the most direct sunlight, and it's now winter in the southern hemisphere. So what I really wanted you to see from this is that the tilt of the earth on its axis and that flattened ellipse is what makes us have our seasons. Okay, the earth is not changing, going back and forth, back and forth. It's simply staying in the same tilt all the way around in that orbital path and that tilt as well as the traveling around the sun is what makes our season. So we're going to glue our 
winter, northern hemisphere in the winter, right over here about where we are right now. And that you're gonna have a little overlap just because it's a small piece of paper. So just put some glue on that. And right up here, this is where we're at. We're about right here right now. And then we are in the dead of winter and they are experiencing the height of summer. And then down in the bottom corner, <clears throat> we are going to put when we are in summer in the northern hemisphere and they are in winter. Remember, the tilt doesn't change. So it is still tilted in the same angle, the same 23 and a half degree angle. The only difference is now we are receiving more of that sunlight because it is summertime in the northern hemisphere. So tilt is still the same. And that's what makes our seasons. So I'll show you my final product, my finished product. It looks like this. Mine's colored. And you notice that it has the winter, spring, summer, and fall. I wrote the word revolution because that's what this is showing. I wrote how long it takes, 365 and one-fourth days. And I wrote that our axis tilts at 23.5 degrees. And the revolution, of course, causes our seasons. So that's our final product. It just shows why we have the seasons that we do and why in the Northern Hemisphere it is winter, in the Southern Hemisphere it is summer. So this is something you can just keep with you. It was just for us to kind of really cement home the difference between rotation, the spinning of the Earth on its axis, it only takes 24 hours, and revolution, the trip that the Earth takes around the sun, and it takes 365 and one-fourth days and causes our seasons.